Hello students. Today we are going to learn about five kingdoms of classification. Have you ever stopped to wonder about the variety of life that exists in the world? Isn't it truly amazing? Did you know that scientists used to believe there were only two main groups of living things, animals and plants? It wasn't until later that they discovered there were more categories to classify them. So let's explore the different groups of living organisms together and see how they are classified. Firstly, let's talk about Monera. This group consists of very small living things, so small you can't see them with your naked eye. They are made of only one cell. They don't have a special brain called a nucleus. Some examples of Monera are bacteria and blue-green algae. Next up is Protista. This group also has living things that are made up of only one cell. Unlike Monera, they do have a special brain called a nucleus. Examples of Protista include algae and protozoa. Now, let's talk about fungi. These living things can be big or small like mushrooms and yeasts. They have a cell wall made of a special material called chitin. Chitin makes them different from other groups. Yeast, molds and mushrooms are examples of fungi. Moving on to plants, this group has the largest living things we know. Like trees and flowers, they are green because they use the sun's energy to make their own food. And they have a cell wall made of a special material called cellulose. Lastly, we have animals. This group includes all animals like humans and birds. They don't have a cell wall and they need to eat other living things to get their energy. We hope you enjoyed learning about the different groups of living organisms and how they are classified. Thanks for watching.